All right, let's do this problem on op amps. So for the op amps, you don't need to memorize anything like, for example, for the differential op amp or the, for the integration op amp or for summing op amp or inverting or non-inverting. You just need to know how to deal with the op amp problems, uh, how to approach the question, and then you can use your skills that you have from the circuit analysis to solve the problems, okay? So in this problem, they ask us to find VO over VI, which is the gain of the op amp. So we need to find VO over VI, okay? So I will put here point A and then point B. Then they didn't give us anything for the current, but we know that this current is going this way. It is coming out of the source, so it is IS. And when this, comment, uh, this current reaches point A, so when it reaches point A, nothing is going here, right? Everything is going through this 25 kilo ohms. Why? Because the input current of the op amp is equal to zero. Right, so IS is going through the 5 and then it's going through the 25 um, ohm. And over here, we know that I is equal to 0. Okay? Now, the other thing that we have, um, that here we have, is this point, actually, that is VO. Okay, so I think we have everything. Now, what we can do, I'm going to go ahead and write some information that I have available. I know that, first, VA is equal to VB, right? But this doesn't help us right now. Uh, although I can do, like I can write the KCL at point A first, and then I'll go back to that, uh, to this information that VA is equal to VB. So KCL at point A. I have one current entering the node and another current leaving the node, right? So the current that is entering the node is Vs minus A over 5. That is equal to Va. Oh, this is Va. Va minus Vo over 25, right? So right now, what I want to do is I need to somehow manage to take out the VA from this equation number one. Why? Because I need the relationship between VO and VS. So I don't need to have this VA. How can I do that? I'm going to go ahead and write a um, KCL here for this branch. So I'm going to say that there is a current over here, but I know that no current is going here, right? This I is equal to zero. Therefore, this I is equal to zero. So there is no current in this branch. Okay, when there is no current in this branch, what is happening to the voltage, let's say VB or VA? They're both equal to zero, right? Because how you can say that, let me just write a KCL at point B. So I'm saying that at point B, I have a current that is coming uh, from the ground and it's going through the 10 ohm. Okay, so that would be 0 minus VB over 10. That is equal to the current that is going into the op amp, which is 0. So from here, VB is equal to 0. So when VB is 0, VI, VA is also equal to 0. Right? So we can say that VA is also equal to 0. So when VA is equal to zero, this is zero, this is zero. So the equation one, which is Vs over five, is equal to negative VO over 25. And what I need to find is VO over Vs, that is going to be 25 over negative five, and that is negative five as the gain of this. Um, Opa. Okay.